Hey, welcome back. It's Milan with the Tuning Into The One video series. And uh, on this video, we're going to piggyback a little bit off of the last video on trust, T-R-U-S-T. You'll recall that one of the difference between character and reputation is really the difference between who you are on the inside and then the reputation is the part where how people perceive you and that has a lot of different points of view. When you're more concerned about your reputation rather than your character, then that's usually telling you a lot about how you see the world. In other words, what other people think is more important than who you really are, so you'll adapt yourself um, to whatever means are necessary to be able to be that person that you think you want them to think you are. Rather than starting from the inside out with your character and your different characteristic qualities and really looking to authentically, transparently, and very sincerely and with integrity project that into the world. Now obviously we've grown up to learn that sometimes uh, the easy way is to adapt and um, switch ourselves to different things so that we are more acceptable to other people. In relationships, this leads to huge amounts of problems, issues, potential disasters, and falling off the cliff kind of stuff. And ends up with, oh, I was cheated on, I was lied to, um, I can't believe this person did this to me, I thought we loved each other, and then somewhere down the road. You look at divorces, they get very, very nasty and ugly oftentimes, and it becomes a tug of war, and you're like wondering, how did that amazing place of love turn into something that seems like anger and hate? The answer is there's a fundamental difference between looking at perception and projection of those things that we look at as reputation within ourselves. Sometimes we're not comfortable in our own skins. We don't really want to share that. Uh, we want to keep that under the covers or um, under the mattress or uh, under the rug or in the closet. And we're very careful about how we share that information, including with sometimes the people that we're most intimate in intimate in relationships with. So what happens there? Well, what you're looking at is um, a problem of identity, beliefs, and values. So as we covered in the last video, it's important to sit down, really discuss what's most important to us in, in the context of our relationships and come up with some alignment pieces to put those together. That's your basic compatibility through effective communication and using a really good dial of connection to dial up that level of awareness, intimacy, and information that's available to us. So in the Signature Soulmate Signals four-step process, you're really utilizing a high level of integrity and a high level of connection to be able to explore compatibility at its raw and most de deep kind of depth of uh, honesty, integrity, authenticity, transparency, and sit down and really say, okay, you know, let's put all cards on the table because we don't want to end up in a bad place down the road. You sit down, you talk about it. This is what's important to me. Simple, one of the, one of the key ones that you oftentimes encounter is women want some level of exclusivity in a conventional way with men. Well, let's go exclusive. I don't want you to date other people and I don't want to date anyone else but you. Then we have slowly move forward and get to monogamy rather than polygamy, meaning that we want to have exclusive physical intimate relationship with just that one person. What happens if the other person doesn't want to have exclusive monogamous um, relationship with you? Well then you've got a choice to make. It's a yes or a no and it becomes that plain and simple. Because if you start compromising you're going down the road of separating the difference between excellence and mediocrity. On the one hand in life you have two simple ways of looking at these trust issues as well as the far beyond kind of developing successful long-term true love lasting relationships that are built on the uh, pieces from the uh, Signature Soulmate Signals four-step process. Connection. Um, we have compatibility, we have chemistry, and we have communication. Well, a high level of connection combined with a high degree of effective communication can really help to get the maximum out of compatibility and that's discussed and agreed to and so then you have a framework to build a long-term lasting relationship on values that are aligned. Those values alignment pieces are in the soulmate attraction blueprint basics. The architecture has to be there from the ground up. The blueprint has to contain the essential elements so you're both building the same house of 
relationship foundation and really strong, strong foundational roots and pieces. Why? Because you don't want to find out three or four or five or ten years down the road that you've built a house of cards and didn't know it. That's where the trust issue comes in up front. You talk about trust, you build it into your agreements, and you say how important it is that what you think, what you say, what you do are aligned based on what you said you want and who you say you are. Your character and your ability to form your thoughts and your words and your actions and your habits help to determine how your character comes out to play and that'll determine the relationship design and destiny. Plain and simple. Using the words of Lao Tzu, watch your thoughts they be, for they become your words. Watch your words for they become your actions. Watch your actions for they become your habits. Watch your habits for they become your character. Watch your character for it becomes your destiny. And in relationship, there is nothing more important than sitting down and doing a values alignment. What's most important to you in the context of your relationship, intimate relationship. What are the things you want? What are the things you don't want? Basic compatibility pieces. What are your must-haves and your deal breakers? Those are the boundaries of your compatibility world that you live in. If exclusive monogamous is not negotiable, well, then that's not negotiable. If somebody wants to step over that and they've made an agreement to stick with it, then it's up to them to see whether their character is more important than their reputation. Down the road, everything will come out in the wash. Dirty laundry definitely comes out and you'll see it. So get it right going up front so you can start building that trust, building that trustworthiness based on character. And that way you'll be able to create an even more amazing relationship. So remember, Soulmate Attraction Blueprint, Soulmate Manifesto, the signature Soulmate Signals four-step process taken in order of connection, compatibility, and then chemistry with effective communication used throughout the entire process. Why? Because you want to be able to sit down and look at each other in the eyes, send the right signals, receive the right signals, keep the level of connection, intimacy, awareness, and information high, keep the integrity high, keep the level of love and absolute joy and happiness very high. Excellence versus mediocrity. That would be character versus reputation. And then... You build it by sitting down and aligning your values, talking, making agreements, and keeping agreements. Then your destiny will be based on the true character of who you guys are, which is aligned in values by what you've discussed, which is supported by the habits and actions and words and thoughts you have together and separately to build that incredible, aligned, fantastic, amazing relationship that's allowed you to start building and growing true love with each other and the rest of the world. So remember, if you like our videos, please comment on them, like them, and subscribe to our series. As always, if you are ready to meet Mr. Right right now, then look below this video. You'll find a link and you can find out more how to book your one-on-one -on -one Soulmate Attraction Blueprint free introductory session with me, Milan. And until the next time, this is Milan wishing you amazing dating success and true relationship mastery. And I'm wishing you the best and bye for now.